Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Hector from the New Class Rising podcast and the founder of the InternetEntrepreneurConnection.com blog. So, hey, guys, I'm shooting this video for all of my rising class out there. Um, you know, one of the questions that I always get is, uh, Hector, you know, first of all, where do you even buy a domain, right? How do you how do you start your website? Where do you get your domain? Well, I personally like to use Bluehost because I've been using Bluehost for you know, the past few years, maybe three, four years, and I absolutely love their service. They're a great company to work uh, with. And um, when it comes to tech support, you know, they, they're, they do an absolutely fantastic job um, uh, whenever you, whenever you uh, uh, reach tech support, if you do have to reach them for whatever reason. But anyway, um, I personally choose uh, bluehost.com, and I definitely recommend them. You know, but the first time that you buy a domain, uh, something Bluehost does, and I'm not sure. I, you know, to be honest, um, I can't remember if if uh, um, one and one domains does this, or if, or if even GoDaddy. I'm sure they do. Um, but uh, the first time you buy a domain through Bluehost, chances are that you uh, you're gonna buy the you know you're gonna opt in for the four dollar and ninety five cent per month option, which is one of the options that they have for all of their customers. But one of the things they do is you know that's an option that you get. Four dollars and ninety-five cents per month for a thirty-six month period. So basically, what you're doing is you're paying four dollars and ninety-five cents for three years of service on that domain uh, of ownership of that domain. And one of the things they do is they charge you up front for all of those three years, right? So they, you know, they charge you up to one hundred and seventy-eight dollars. I think it's what it is, what it comes out to. Um, the great thing is though that you know, if if at any point you decide that you don't want that uh, that domain anymore, it's prorated. So let's say two years on the line, you don't want that domain anymore, and they'll charge you only for that one year, and then you get whatever money back. But one of the questions that I always get is, Hector, you know, am I going to have to pay $178 every single time that, you know, I have to uh, get a new domain? And the answer is no, right? As you can see here, I have, um, you know, five different domains uh, that I that I bought through uh, through Bluehost, and you know, the great thing about working with Bluehost is that you can buy, uh, you can have your primary domain, right, which is what I have here, internetentrepreneurconnection.com um, is my primary, and I have all these other domains that I uh, that I bought, and I have them under the same uh, account uh, uh, with Bluehost, and basically all I do is just buy the actual rights to that domain, and it's only 11 bucks, right? It comes out to about $11.00. And that's it. Um, you can park uh, uh, that domain, or not park it, but you can have that domain on your account for 11 bucks. And it's pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. So one of the things I want to show you in this video is, you know, now that you have a domain, uh, specifically if it's an add-on domain, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the places of confusion or, or one of the things that people are scared of doing is uh, adding WordPress if you if you uh, are going to add a WordPress to your new account because they think that they're going to overwrite the WordPress installation that they have on their primary account um, and that's not the case and I want to show you exactly how to do that in this video. So the first thing you want to do or the first thing that I want to show you is you know I have internetentrepreneurconnection.com which is my primary domain and as you can see here, that's going to load here shortly. But uh, I also have this other domain, uh, Gold and Silver Buyer Club, that I just bought. And let me show you what that looks like. Gold and Silver Buyer Club. And as you can see here, um, all you see is a you know Bluehost. Um, page because this account is basically, or this um, this domain here is basically uh, registered to uh, Bluehost or via Bluehost. Um, so you know the first time that you get this domain, the first time that you um, that you buy your account or you buy your domain, this is exactly what you're going to see, especially if you uh, buy it through Bluehost. Um, and so now what I want to do is I want to basically add on this domain to my current account so that I can install WordPress and uh, launch my internet site um, for that page. So here's my Internet Entrepreneur Connection page. Um, and I do have WordPress installed in the back end of this site. But again, one of the things that people worry about is, you know, if I install WordPress 
on my new domain, uh, if it's under the same ser if it's in the same server, um, will it will it um, uh, will it override my current installation? And the answer again is no. But I want to show you how to do that in this video. So the first thing again, uh, now that we have this, you know. Uh, GoldenSilverBuyerClub.com site. The first thing you want to do is you want to assign because right now we see here the the um, the uh, type is unassigned for the server, meaning that this uh, domain is not assigned to any particular uh, um, uh, I guess domain you could say. And so what we want to do is we want we want to go ahead and assign uh, this this domain. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing you want to do, step number one here, is just make sure that you've got the right uh, domain selected. As you can see here, we have two unassigned domains, but we want to un we want to assign goldensilverbuyer.com, goldensilverbuyerclub.com. Step two: verify ownership um, or verify, uh, yeah, ownership of that domain. We don't have to do anything there. We want in step three, we want to make sure that we do um, select add-on domain and not park domain. Um, for step number four, you're going to get an option to basically use an existing directory and database or uh, create a new directory and database. Now, you want to make sure that you create a new directory and database. Whatever you do, do not click or select use an existing directory or database because chances are that whenever you do go to install WordPress, if you do that, you could screw up your database for your primary account and then you will have issues um, with uh, or you could have issues with your um, primary domain and your add-on domain. So again, very important, select create a new directory under the public uh, underscore HTML directory and um, a good practice for, you know, you, you have an option to uh, basically name this whatever you want, but of course good practice is to just call it just call that do call that directory, you know, whatever your site name is, so you know exactly what uh, what that is. And and um, if there's ever a, if there's ever an instance where you have to call tech support to go either back up or um, you know do anything on that specific site, they can they can handle that on the back end, and you know exactly what the name of that directory uh, will be on that server. So again, uh, here I just um, this was already filled in for me, but uh, you can call it, again, you can call it whatever you want, but best practices is just leave it as is. So this is goldensilverbuyer.club.com. And the interesting thing here, you see subdomain. This is actually required uh, by Bluehost uh, for your for your uh, cPanel, but and, and, you know the interesting thing here is that you can actually go uh, to goldensilverbuyerclub.com in this case, .internetentrepreneurconnection.com, and you will land on this site as opposed to this site here. So um, this is just something that's there by default uh, via Bluehost. Um, uh, that I mean that that doesn't matter. You won't need that at all. Um, you can actually still access your account or your domain via. I guess in this case it would be GoldenSilverBuyerClub.com. So don't worry about that. Just leave it as is. And then lastly, click assign this domain. And let's go ahead and wait for that to happen. Should take a, maybe a minute or so. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording right here. And we will be right back as soon as this, um, this process finishes. I think it may take a minute or, or a couple minutes. See you then. All right, guys, and we are back. Uh, that actually took about a minute, just like I, uh, just like I anticipated. And now, as you can see here, we have goldensilverbuyerclub.com, this domain here, um, as an add-on uh, to our primary domain. And you know, now that you go to um, goldensilverbuyerclub.com, um, you're basically going to see the exact same thing. Uh, you won't see anything different. But now what you want to do, if you want to set this site up as, um, if this is going to be your business blog uh, or if this is going to be your business site, which if you've been listening to the New Class Rising podcast, one of the things that I am a huge proponent of is that no matter what kind of site you're setting up, if it's your blog site, if it's your business 
if it's some kind of a internet business type site, you still want to set it up as a blog-based type of, uh, of site. And there are specific reasons for that uh, that we discuss in, um, in, uh, in uh, our, our New Class Rising podcast. And I won't go into the details of that in this, uh, this video tutorial here, but if you do want to find out what those are, definitely go to the New Class Rising podcast on iTunes or SoundCloud and uh, look at episode or hear episode number nine. All right, guys, so thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you learned how to uh, assign your um, secondary domain as an add-on to your primary domain. And in a later video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to install WordPress. Thanks and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.